Assalamualaikum and welcome to all. This is a demo on how to edit your software design description for your final year project and for undergraduate students. Okay, um, you can download this template from Kalam named the FCOM SDD template. And then once you download, you open it and then you will see this first page here. So the red box here refers to the year, which is 2020. So you don't have to edit it. And then you can see the software design description, STD. And then you have to your, edit your project name here. And then now moving on to the second page, if you notice the header is already software design description, STD, under FCOM. And then here you have to put in the authenticated by, that means the one who's doing this project and it's approved by your client. And in terms of software, you can write down Microsoft Word in which you use the document or if you use open source like open office, then you can write here open office. And then since nowadays we are doing archiving online, so you can put Google Drive as the archiving place. Or if you have any physical space, you need to mention the physical space, what room or room number whatsoever. Okay, this is the table of content. So I already made the structure of it. Then I will go detail down the structure. So in order to update, you have to update field, right click update field, and then you can choose either the first option, the second option. First option is to update the page numbers. The second option, if you add any subsections, you can update the entire table. Okay, now we move on to the next page. So you have the list of figures in which you have to state all the figures used here. You have the figure number, you have the figure name and the page number. Same goes with list of tables and also list of appendices. Okay, this, con this document contains of two chapters. So first chapter, we have to describe the project. It's also similar to 1.1 in SRS document previously, which I already explained in the previous video. And then followed by system identification. System ident identification here refers to the SDD numbering for this document. So you have to explain how you do the numbering here. You can also refer to your previous notes from the software design workshop class. So after you have the final identification number, please change the footer by double clicking on it and then change the number. Then once done, you close the header. So you scroll down back. So coming back here, 1.3 is the architecture or blueprint of the proposed solution. So you have, first you have to uh, insert the figure here and then you name the figure based on the figure caption and then you explain the detail of the architecture, the components related to the architecture. And then coming down to 1.4 is where you did give a brief description on the component based on the class diagram. When you say class diagram format, it means the components, the name of the object, and then the related attributes and also the related functions. You have to explain in detail all the components of the architecture here, and then you have to relate it to the sequence diagram and then use case ID diagram from the SRS. So you have to write down the, when you want to do the reference, that means you have to, once you have drawn, mention the class diagram for that component, then you have to mention the SRS name and then the identification number of the document, and then you insert the identification of the use case ID and also the sequence diagram. Okay, if you had a lot, a lot of components, so you can break it down into subsections. Okay, please make sure you um, describe in the form of class diagram and relate it to the sequence and use case diagram based on their IDs. And then coming down to chapter two, you have two, se two sections. 2.1 is actually deep detailed description of the description from 1.4 in which you have to um, enter or mention the specific um, action of the module. For instance, you can describe it in the form of table and then that table should consist the input, output and the algorithm of the modules. 
so you can you can uh, make subsections based on the subsections here and then you relate it with the table okay and then there will be a lot of tables make sure you do the numbering right and then make sure you write the correct way of writing algorithm please refer back to your notes when you love problem solving and also programming technique okay next is data dictionary here you have to you have to insert the detailed data that means you have learned inside during you have learned during your software design class on creating your data dictionary it means you have to create a table that contains the data name the data type followed by its sequence that means it's 50 characters or what to related to which module and is it a primary key or foreign key it's only optional if you if you use or system based solutions okay if you don't have then you can remove it or for algorithms you can mention here what kind removing the primary key and foreign key and the module we can mention the name and the type of the data and also the length or sequence of the data so as a recap i already explained um this sdd for your undergraduate project so basically it's continuation from the srs in which you are specifying down the architecture and blueprint and also the description of it and followed by the detailed description and then the data dictionary all of this you have already learned during your software design workshop so this is basically you're not writing a long document but it's more a compact but comprehensive description of your solution so that's all thank you bye